south one. I want to go back north and freeze. Gee, thanks for the whip, mister. Yeah, don't mention it, kid. I'm going as far as Miami. I've got a big job planned there. Uh, I, I mean, uh, i got a job there. <laughs> Oh boy, we're going south real fast now. We got you, Blackie. Pull over. We were just hitching a wide south, sir. Hitchhikers, eh? Don't you know it's not a good idea to hitch a ride with anyone? I believe we're gonna make it this time. Oh boy, look! There goes my spot! Huh, we'll be there before they are! <laughs> We made it! We have a wife! Let's grab his hands! Boy, oh boy, oh boy! This is the wife, isn't it, gang? He told us it's my friends! Come on down! I want you to meet somebody! Aren't my friends? Well... They're here! My stars have arrived! They just drove up, TJ. I wonder what an old TJ wants at this hour. Perhaps to give it a name. Well, shall we go in and see? Why not, old Chetty? Realism! The movie public wants to see it like it really is! Action! What? But they're stars! Realism and action mean danger! Danger? That means hurt. Oh, I don't like that. Do we? But DJ, our stars might get hurt! Or something! You're the agent! You better think of something! Or else! It's in our contract. No danger. After all, we're superstars. I know, I know. You'd better come up with an idea. We start shooting Catman meets Ding Dong, the creature from outer space, tomorrow. I know, I know. Am I seeing double? That's it. Stop the car. I've got it. Doubles. We'll use doubles. Wait here. I'll be right back. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Glad to see you. Morris Williams, Star Maker. How do you boys like to be in showbiz? I can make you rich, famous, the idol of millions. I can make you stars. Just sign that line. Report tomorrow to Panic Pictures down down Hollywood. Bye. Tent Man meets Ding Dong. Take one, see one. Oh! Amazing. No one could ever tell the difference. Yes, amazing, I dare say. And you'd better be good, or else. We will keep shooting and stop only for your doubles to take your place for the realism scenes, okay? Okay. Ready, light, camera, action! Police Chief to Catman, Ding Dong, the creature from outer space, has escaped! We need your help! Let's go, Ruben. We must save the city. Or else. Ding Dong is not around here, Ruben. 
Perhaps if we went up higher. Cut! Doubles on the set! Realism coming up! for you, officer. Cut! Doubles on the roof! You throw the cab rope to the other roof and swing down. Get it? Cut! Ready for stars close-up. Oh dear, another tough scene. I'll save you, Reuben, old chap. Cut. Thanks, fellas. Uh, move that camera in for a close-up. Last time, you lazy love. 
I shall seek a new apprentice to replace you. Aha! Or even better! Two for the price of one! Ah! So glad you volunteered to be my new apprentices. Huh? Uh, me? Replaced by a cat and mouse? You can't do this, master! I can do anything! And you can go chase your tail! Oh, okay, Master, since you put it that way. Now, for my new apprentices. Clean up this messy magic room and see that my props are in order for tonight's big show. Whilst I nap. Boy, are you guys gonna be sorry for stealing my job? Uh, just as soon as I catch my tail. What's going on here? Oh no, and 
again at Zeus. Did a tornado strike here whilst I land? I'll soon find out. Oh, all seeing eye, show me what caused this calamity. Yes, monster. So, my apprentices and ex-apprentices are the reason, eh? You under my most diabolical spell. You know, fellas, I wish we could start this day all over. Ah, so glad you volunteered to be my new apprentice. Oh, no. You mean we gotta go through all this again? Anybody can be a magician nowadays. You're right, Master. The business is going to the dogs. <laughs> this is the city, uh, city. Once a peaceful, busy town, it is now caught in the iron grip of crime. Uh, crime. People are afraid to go out. Things like the bowler are on a rampage. <laughs> I see the robber baritone is another sour note. No rainy basso. And no billboard is safe from the mustache. As if this were not bad enough, striking fear in the hearts of all food peddlers. Oh, no! Weighing in at 300 pounds, Pat Woman is on the loose. Yummy! When asked why he couldn't stop the crime wave, Police Chief Joe Padern-Dern said, Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I sure wish Super Kate would come to the rescue. I wonder where he can be. Hello, Pete's Taylor Shot. This is Stanley Kate. Er, uh, uh, I mean, Carter. Could you send my suit and hat over, please? Yes, Mr. Carter, right away. Uh, Tom, Terry! <laughs> Get this stuff over to Mr. Carter's house, apartment 10 C. Oh, it's you. Come in, quick. Thank goodness it's you. One never knows who's at one's door nowadays. Yes, it is I, Super Kate, champion of niceness, but just a shadow of what I used to be. I suppose you're wondering why I let crime go unstopped on the streets. The sad truth of it is, I have lost my courage. Oh, if it ever gets out, my arch enemies will strike at me at any moment. And that is why I have asked you to bring my civilian clothes. I'm all washed up. Hark! It's my arch enemy, the bowler! Right you are, Chicken Super King, and I'm here to bowl you over. <laughs> oh, goodness. You just ruined my wall. You win, Super King. You knocked the pins out from under me. I'll be nice from now on. I know the score. That rumor about you being cowardly sure was false. Bye. Sucker. <laughs> oh! I was only fooling Super Cake. Please, spare me. You may split. Turn in your bowling shoes and go directly to jail. Thanks, Super Cake. Tom and Jerry, you have given me new courage. 
And for your reward, I'm making you deputy super capes. Together we shall fight badness and rid our city of crime. Super cape? You're back in action, you say? Sure, I've got crimes for you to fight. At this very moment, your arch enemy, High C, is headed for the Navi Piano Store. This is a job for Super Cape. Oh, yes, and for Tom and Jerry, too. Da 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 da! Goodness, that scared feeling is coming back. I'm getting cold feet again. Tom and Jerry, you will have to go on ahead while I grapple with my nerves. You must stop, I see, before he sings and breaks the window. Go to it. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to tell them how to pull out of a dive. my high note, which will shatter the glass, and the piano is mine. Do, re, mi, fa, so. <laughs> I've lost my voice. Da, 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 da. Super King. The window was broken before you even got here, so you were off key from the start. Foiled by Super King. <laughs> Breaking the glass was very clever, Tom and Jerry, Super Cape deputies. Wait, it's a message from the Chief on my two-way radio bracelet. Yes, Chief? The mustache is messing up all the posters over at Billboard Road. Stop it! Now, here's the plan. You two will paste up these self-sticking posters to slow him up. Then, I come from behind and grab him. Get it? <laughs> oh dear, he's there. But my cold feet are back. All right, you two, what's this all about? Something around the corner, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> Yikes! A real cop! And you're going to a real jail! <laughs> Super Kate, my arch enemy, you're behind this! Nice work, Super Kate. Your two deputies let him right into a trap. Good work, boys. Your actions have given me the courage to go it alone. No man alive can frighten me again. No man, do you hear? Da -da -da -da. No, no, hell, not you. I forgot about that woman. I quit. The job is all yours. Da -da -da -da. Once again, the city is at peace, and clothes are delivered each day without fear from the little tailor shop. Because Super Cakes, Tom and Jerry, are on the job. Delivery! Boy, there go two real Super Cake heroes. Once upon a time, in a small village near a big castle, there lived a poor little orphan girl named Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her two mean stepsisters and her mean stepmother. Okay, baby cake. I'm your mean stepmother for this story, and you better believe it. You don't look content. Stand at attention, but I'm talking to you. All right, let's get cracking. I want the windows washed, I want the dishes washed, oh, I want the floors swept. But most of all, I want my two beautiful daughters made ready for the ball. Yeah. Well, semi-cute daughters. 
Well, how about somewhat less than repulsive daughters? Would you buy that? Well, what are you waiting for? An early snow? Get moving! Now, my two sweet cooks, it's time to get ready for the ball. Now listen, you freeloading cat. You're making a bigger mess than before. Hmm. I don't remember no dumb cat in this fairy tale. Now, my precious darling, are you ready yet? No, because Cinderella is not helping enough. Well, if some people can't help out around here, well then... Some people wouldn't be able to go to the ball, right, girls? Yes, Mother. <laughs> Cinderella! Cinderella, help me with my powdered wig! Cinderella, I need help with my lipstick, and hurry up! Cinderella! I need help with my shoes! Cinderella, I need my corset tied! Cinderella! Okay, that does it. We're going to the ball without you pets. Come, my two enchantresses. That was really mean of that mean stepmother. I mean, really. And those two mean sisters, if you know what I mean. What this story needs now is a fairy godmother to lighten things up, if you get my meaning. Ooh, ooh, here I am, your fairy godmother. I think I'm your fairy godmother. Oh, yes, of course I am. Nobody else looks like a fairy godmother around here. So it must be me. See, I have the regulation wand with that spoiling stuff coming out of it. Well, I'm sure I'm a fairy godmother. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Of course I've got to be a fairy godmother, don't I? I'll prove it to you. I'll do a little magic. I'll change that mirror on the wall into a clear blue lake. Oh, here I am, your fairy chicken. Oh, why, that's not right. Oh, what am I again? You're our fairy godmother. Oh, of course. How silly of me. I'm your fairy godmother. And you have to get ready for the ball. First, you're going to need a team of white horses to pull your carriage. That doesn't seem right. I know a pumpkin has something to do with this story. Oh, well, anyway, we still need a carriage. <laughs> Oops. Oh, now let's see. Maybe the dress goes on the pumpkin. That's it. The dress goes on the pumpkin. Wow. Dynamite. Oh, hello, dear darling. Now we need plus slippers. Oh, oh my goodness! It's Chicken Rella! No, that is definitely not the name of this story! Oh, is this will never do, dearie! Oh, why don't you go just as you are and now go with the horse and carry? To the ball! <laughs> Now listen, Prince, you have got to get married soon. Do you know what the taxes are on an unmarried prince? You're breaking the kingdom. I know, I know. Oh, your friendship. I'd like you to meet my two lovely daughters. You'll not find two more gorgeous girls in all your kingdom. Right, girls? Right. Yuck. 
show the nice princess how well you dance. Yikes! Uh, pay no attention to that silly creature, Princey. This is the daughter who can trip the light fantastic. <laughs> Say, who are you? I'm Chickenbella. Ah, uh, I mean Cinderella. Oh, sorry, I have to run. Cinderella, wait! We both know how the story is supposed to end, so why don't you just put out and let's see it. No! Now that's not fair! This fairy tale always ends the same way, and we don't like it. We spent all that time getting ready for the ball. What for? What for? We never get the prince! Farmer Jerry, corn farmers. Ah, oh, there's nothing I like better than fresh, sweet corn. And you two like corn, right? But we both can't have it, right? Okay, then I have a deal for you. That corn is ready for picking. So whoever likes it most will have it all by the end of the day. Deal? No trespassing. This means keep out, especially crows. Okay. But how about just one little ear of corn? Because we're friends. Handcuffs. It looks like we're not friends. Well then, fellas. Arrivederci, adios, aloha, adieu, cheerio, farewell, and bye-bye. Ah, corn. Delicious corn. <laughs> Hey, don't lock me in here. It's dark and I can't get out. Delicious. Oh, being locked in with all this corn. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Buttercorn? For me? Sure. Then the trap goes snap, and the bomb goes boom. Ha! But I'll be safe in here while I lasso me some hot butter. Oops. Well, I know that I shouldn't talk with my mouth full of delicious corn. But I think you guys did that just beautifully. I can't believe it. They hid some corn in a toy. <laughs> hey, I'm stuck in here. No fair, you guys filled this with glue. Watch where you're throwing things when I'm trying to eat. 
will test it on myself. Down the hatch. <sighs> I don't feel any taller, but I do feel some changes. It's me! I'm the 
the great one. They, they jumped into the forbidden zone. Then I must stop them. Before they learn the secret of the planet of the dogs. Too late. They've learned the secret. Yes, it's true. Centuries ago, this was the planet of cats and mice. And thus dogs were treated like inferior pets. They left for the planet Earth, so we took over. But now, if you expect to return, forget it. Because I made everyone think you are enemies with my computerized thought control system. Yes, the Great One is not just a statue, but a computer. God sees them. You two will be sent into orbit in outer space. Stop, aliens! You can't escape! You can't outrun my jet-powered throne! You'll never find your way out of the forest! I'll trip you down like a dog! Never cat and mouse! Huh? Impossible! They're gone! Disappear! I must return to the computer thought control and alert everyone to look for them! Now to activate my thought control system before my subjects start thinking for themselves. Attention all dogs! This is the Great One, and here's your thought for the day. You must love all cats and mice. Repeat, you must love all cats and mice. They are your friends. Hey! What am I saying? No, no! Don't touch that self-destruct button! Oh, no! Now everyone will love cats and mice, and everyone will think for themselves. We have just picked up the rocket leaving the planet Dogstar. Our two stowaway space travelers are aboard, and what a story they'll have to give us! It's a perfect landing! Tell us, Tom and Jerry, was there any sign of life on the planet Dog Star? Ooh, ooh, look who's back! <gasps> Wait, come back! Don't go in there! That rocket is going to the moon! know about the mysterious planet Dog Star until Tom and Jerry get back from the moon. But we'll all be waiting for our brave cat and mouse tronauts. Yeah, especially me. <laughs> Trespasses didn't understand. 
perhaps they forgot my warning. Perhaps this will refresh dead memories. <laughs> Huh? You gotta be kidding. 
You expect me to follow these plans? Affirmative. Take it or leave it even. But remember, progress must progress. Yeah, I guess you're right. And since the road has to go through, you got a deal. so peaceful and quiet here in the forest primeval, but at least we saved our happy home. <laughs>
This time, I will do the high speed, or so they work. <laughs> the crowd will lock up. Oh, no, the toughest bull around. Oh. 